All right, here are solutions to quiz one for Matthew 51. Um, for part A here, you're asked to calculate the slope of the secant line to this function and given two values. Um, so the nice thing is when you're calculating the slope of the secant line, what you need are two points and they're giving us all the information we need to use this formula right here, not that one, that m, the slope of the secant line, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it's telling me that x2 is negative 1 and x1 is negative 2. So all I got to do is figure out y2 and y1. And I can figure those out um, because y2 is just f of x2 and x2 is negative 1. So y2 is just what comes out of this machine when I put negative 1 in. In other words, it's 4 divided by negative 1 plus 3 squared. Uh, but negative 1 plus 3 is just 2, and 2 squared is 4. So it's 4 divided by 4. In other words, it's 1. Similarly, y1 would just be f of x1, and x1 is negative 2. So it's 4 divided by negative 2 plus 3 squared. And negative 2 plus 3 is just positive 1, and positive 1 squared is just 1. So I get a 1 and a 4 here which I put into my formula over here, and I simplify and get that this is equal to negative 3, um, because 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and negative 1 plus 2 is just 1, and negative 3 over 1 is just negative 3. And what I have done is I calculated the slope of the secant line. Now, estimate the slope of the tangent line. You'll see this is worth more points because it's a little bit more work down here. To estimate the slope of a tangent line without graphing, and that's key, um, what I want to do is I want to kind of I want to use this formula, basically. And so what I'll need to know is x1, x2, y1, and y2. But there's a little bit of a catch. I want the two x coordinates. I want one of them to just be 1. And I want the other one to be some value really close to that. So maybe slightly above 1. Or maybe I'll do it again and pick some number slightly below 1. And so the idea here is if I calculate the slope of these two secant lines, which I can, I'll, be, I'll note that they're both very similar to the slope of the tangent line, and I'll be able to look at my answers and kind of estimate what the slope of the tangent line is. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the same calculation I did in part A twice down here. I better figure out y1 and y2. Well, for y1, that's just f of x1, which uh, f of x1 would just be what comes out of this machine when you put a 1 into it, 4 divided by 1 plus 3 squared, 4 divided by 4 squared, 4 divided by 16, in other words, 0.25. Um, but for y2, I'm going to have to pull up my calculator here. And so what I want for y2 is I want to figure out what is 4 divided by, and then 1.001 plus 3 squared. Well, I can do that in my head, well, at least part of it. 1.001 plus 3 is 4. 0 0.001. And then I got to square that thing, do 4 divided by it, and I get this 0 0.24 thing, 249875. And so now I can use my formula. I can do y2, this thing, minus y1. And I can divide that by x2 minus x1. Note that that's just 0 0.001. And what I get is negative 1.24, no, I don't, I get negative 0.12495, approximately. We'll do that one more time, except instead of 4 divided by 4.001 squared, I'm going to do 4 divided by 3.999 squared. That 3.999 was 0 0.999 plus 3. And if I get that, it gives me y2, 0 0.25, uh, 0, 0.0125, approximately. And then I calculate my slope by doing that, minus 0 0.25 divided by uh, x2, I'll actually show the steps here, 0 0.999 minus x1, hit enter, and I get negative 
0.125. So then I look at these two values and I recognize that one of the slopes is a little bit less than the slope of the tangent line and one of the slopes is a little bit more than the slope of the tangent line. And looking at them, it looks like they're pretty close to negative 0.125. So I'm going to say I estimate slope of tangent line to be negative 0.125. Negative 1 8 if you prefer fractions. Um, yeah, and your work up here might look a little bit different because you might have chosen different values here, but hopefully you'll come up with the same answer here. All right, one more step. Now it wants me to take the slope of the tangent line and come up with the equation of the tangent line. And the way you do that is by using this formula. It's called point-slope form of a line. Um, and you just plug everything in. We know that m is going to be negative point, let me screw that up, 0.125. And we know that x1, given into us this value 1, and y1, we've already calculated that a few times, is 0.25. And if you plug all those in, we get y minus y1 is equal to m. How many times am I going to write that wrong? It's not negative 1.25, it's negative 0.125 times x minus x1. What do you get here? Um, I should take this a little bit further to get it into slope-intercept form. So if I take that, there I go again, negative 0.125 and distribute it through these parentheses, I'd get this. And then if I add 0.25 to both sides, I'd get this. This right here, no I wouldn't. Try that again. 0.125 uh, plus 0.25 would be what? 0.375? There we go. Because I had a calculator sitting right here, maybe I should have used it. This right here should be the equation of the tangent line. So that's the end of the quiz. I'm actually going to take it a step further. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the original function. So I got y equals 4 over x plus 3 squared. I already have that in there. That's nice. And then I'm going to graph this tangent line. And again, this wasn't required on the quiz, just kind of a way to check your answer, I suppose. Negative 0.125x plus 0.375. And then I'm going to graph it. And what I hope to see is a curve and then a line. And the line will be tangent to the curve when the x value equals 1. So let's take a look. There's my curve. It's the graph of the original function. There's a straight line. And it kind of, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it looks like it's tangent somewhere in here, right, when x equals 1. That's good. It makes me feel better about my answers. You didn't have to do that. Just a way to check if you wanted to. Um, but I guess that's it. I'll end this video here.